A new PSA calls for children under age 14 to avoid playing tackle football. The warning says tackling increases the chances of developing a serious brain disease called CTE. We are where Atlanta speaks and many have asked our youth football players more at risk for developing CTE. Let's verify. Our sources are an expert with the Shepherd Center, a neurologist with Morehouse School of Medicine, the CDC and the Journal of the American Medical Association. Here's what we know. First, what is CTE? Dr. Michael Yokelson with the Shepherd Center says it's a brain disease caused by concussions. Symptoms develop over time and can be pretty serious. They may start to have problems with uh, cognition, so developing dementia. They can develop Parkinsonism, so movement disorders, tremors. They can develop more serious uh, psychological or psychiatric issues. Are athletes under age 14 more at risk? I think that we still don't know for sure what the magic number is. He says any contact sport increases your child's chance of concussions and CTE. The key here is their brains are still developing. If children begin to have concussions at an earlier age, it may have a, a greater, more lasting impact. He says the younger they start, the more concussions they could have over time. A new report from the CDC finds kids in tackle football are 15 times more likely to suffer head injuries. And data from JAMA says 21% of high school football players had CTE. The tricky thing is it's hard to know if your child has it. That's why at this time still the most uh, reliable way to make the actual diagnosis is on autopsy. Dr. Royal says you can reduce your child's risk by making sure they wear protective gear and getting proper treatment for any head injury. So we can verify younger kids in contact sports are at a higher risk for developing CTE. That claim is true. Our thanks to Jennifer for that verify. If there is something you'd like us to verify, you can send us an email and you can also text the word verify to 404-885-7600.